Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I am back. Bring another video, and in this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys a gameplay with the brand new free Galaxy Opal, Gus Williams. Quickly, before we hop into it and everything, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. Right now, we're less than 40 subscribers away from 76,000, so help us achieve 76,000 tonight by hitting that sub button if you guys are new. And also, real quick, if you guys can, real quick, drop a like on this video, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Diving straight into it right here, as you guys can see, we have this brand new Gus Williams card in front of us on the screen today. And he is a free card, because right now, currently, he is on the Triple Threat Online boards. Alongside this Gus Williams card right here, there is also another player that 2K put on Triple Threat Online boards. And that player is a Pink Diamond Fred Brown. With that being said, over the course of the last month or so, 2K has been putting a lot of players in Triple Threat Online every single Friday. They put in Diamond Rex Chapman a few weeks ago, Marcus Camby a couple weeks ago, and last week they put in Pink Diamond Richie Guerin. And those cards were available for one week, so I'm pretty sure that this Gus Williams, alongside this brand new Fred Brown who just came out, is going to be available on boards for one week. I do not have that Opal Gus Williams or that Pink Diamond Fred Brown yet on my squad, which I do want to give a quick shout out to the homie Angel for letting me up on recording gameplay with his Gus Williams card. He DM'd me and said he had Gus Williams and said I get a gameplay. So big time shout out to the homie Angel for making this video possible. Based off of that note, without further ado now, let's go on ahead and take a look at this man's badges and attributes and then walk into the gameplay with him and ultimately see if this card right here is worth grinding for. I'm pretty sure he is because he's the first Opal on Triple Threat boards, but taking a look at him right here, guys, 2K made him a half point guard, half shooting guard, standing at 6'2", coming with a ton of badges, my goodness, 40 Hall of Fame badges, 6 gold badges for a grand total badge count of 46. Now, when it comes to the 40 Hall of Fame badge right here, I'm going to be naming off the most important badges that 2K gave him, which are Hall of Fame Floor General, Catch and Shoot, Quick Draw, Difficult Shots, Relentless Finisher, Ankle Breaker, Hot Zone Hunter, Dimer, Pickpocket, Pick Dodger, Hall of Fame Clamps, Green Machine, Heart Crusher, Interceptor, Intimidator, Lightning Reflexes, Flexible Release, Unpluckable, Tireless Defender, Consistent and Contact Finisher, Fancy Footwork, Downhill Handles for Days, Hall of Fame Quick First Step, Stop and Go, and Tight Handles. Now, moving on to the 6 Gold Badge right here, the 6 Golds are Pogo Stick, Dead Eye, Off Ball, Pest Defensive Leader, Break Starter, and Corner Specialist. And for some odd reason, this man does not have Rain Extender. That's very, very weird how he does not have Rain Extender at all. Moving along right here, taking a look at the attributes. 2K gave him a 97 driving layup, 95 draw foul, 97 close shot, 94 mid-range, 85 three-pointer, 85 free throw, and an 80 driving dunk. Offensively, guys, he looks really, really good. It's just a three ball with no Rain Extender. That kind of worries me just a little bit. Moving along right here, 2K gave him a 98 ball handle, 98 pass accuracy. His defense is on point, 97 steal, 97 perimeter defense. Moving right along to his speed, 98 speed, making him the second fastest point guard in NBA 2K20. My team, there's only a few point guards in the game right now, guys, that have 99 speed. And moving along right here, guys, he also does come with 98 speed with ball, 95 vertical, 93 stamina, 97 lateral quickness. And wrap it all up, he does come with a 95 for both defensive and offensive consistency. In a real quick shoot around with this Doug Williams card right here before we hop into the gameplay to take a look at his hot zones and his jump shot. His hot zones are pretty much from everywhere on the court except for the right and left three-point wing areas and the top of the key at the three-point arc. Now take a look at this man's jump shot right here. Okay, that is a pretty fast and cash money jump shot. I like that, guys. I like this jump shot a lot. But like I said earlier, guys, really the only flaw in this card is that he does not have raining center. We're greening shots closer to 3.0, but when we take a couple steps back right here, guys, it's pretty much going to be impossible to green in a full white bars, guys. Do not go in because you do not have rain extender. Let's get one dunking with him real quick, guys. Man, all the way with a nice hop step glitchy dunk. Now, without further ado, let's hop into the gameplay and go have some fun with him and see what it's all about on the My Team Courts. My boy Gus down the court right here in the wide open and right corner. Catch and shoot, 4-3. Bang! Nice shot by Gus. We start off this game striking first on the boards. Let's try and have the paint right here with a foot. It seems this man Gus is too fast for Jamal Murray with a nice two-headed reverse dunk. Jamal Murray is a great player, guys, but he has honestly no defense, no lateral defense to keep up with the speed of Gus Williams. Good defense inside, and my boy Gus is gone down the court again, guys. Trying to get the blow by. There's a blow by on Jamal Murray. We're going all the way again with another two handed reverse dunk. Rip 7 1, guys. And it looks like we have forced rage quit on this guy right here. This game right here was very, very fast. Now, because this guy right here did quit in the first quarter, you guys already know that we're going to hop into another game. Without further ado, let's get into another game. Good boy, my boy Gus. Let's go run a fast break. Put Mark right here with a full head of steam. We're all clear for takeoff with another two handed reverse dunk. We strike first in this game right here, guys, with, our, with the first two points on the board. And that right there, 
was the third dunk that that man Gus has done. And all three dunks have been the exact same two-handed reverse dunks. I think this man only has that type of animation, maybe. I, I hope it's more, but so far, guys, it looks like that's going to be the only one that he does have. Good boy inside by Giannis. My boy Gus is down the court. I'm stopping, and I'm popping. 4-3. Splash. I stopped and popped right there because I know his release is cash money. If I do get that steal, I'll take that. I'm taking the mid-range off the dribble, and that is no good. But Giannis is able to clean up that mess, get that putback slam to go. No way what that goes. And that's great defense. Boy by Boban. Up to Gus again. We're too fast for Kyrie Irving. Going all the way with a hop step. Left-handed dunk. We're up 9-2 early on in this game. That's a terrible pass that my opponent just committed. Let's go. Our ball. Let's give my boy Gus a quick isolation right here on the left wing. Kyrie Irving has no D. It should be a blow by and a bucket. There's a blow by and boom! There's a bucket. And finally, this man has done a dunk. Something that's different than just simply a two-handed reverse dunk. Okay, looks like my opponent is... Trying to resort to a full court press. Full court press not going to stop this man. Gus, we're going all the way again to the paint with a foot of steam. Another two-handed reverse dunk. It looks like this man gets a two-handed reverse dunk in traffic, which is a really, really good dunk in animation, honestly. Give me that. That's a steal. Thank you very much. He threw it right to my dome. Gus Williams, two miles for everybody. Going all the way with the layup. I'll take the layup. Points are points, but I wanted you to get a little bit fancy on that fast break right there, Gus. You deserve to get fancy. All right. In game number two right here, guys, my opponent did leave this match as well. We have forced our opponent to quit another game. So without further ado, let's hop into one more game with this Gus Williams card. And hopefully we can play a little bit longer than just the first quarter. Four inside by Giannis, up to my boy Gus, down the court. We're going to try and tie the paint with a four to steam right through Curry. Nice hop step in that lip. Inside is good. We're down by seven points now. Right now, we cut the lead down to seven. As I nearly get that inbound steal. Great defense from Gus. My opponent, guys, has been doing a good job in this first quarter, and he's doing his thing. I can't lie. I'm still confident, though, that I'm going to win this game. And I'm going to snatch it back right here with Gus. He played out very, very well. Getting back to him, though, in the left corner. Going to try and let him work out on Billups. Nice snatch back move for the mid-range. Green beam for my boy Gus. This man is just simply too quick off the dribble. My opponent needs a timeout. I'm down by seven with a minute left to go in this first quarter. Boy, side by Boban. Up to Gus. Down the court right here. With a four to seam. Attacking the paint. Actually, we got somebody trailing. That's Brandon Roy trying to play. Open 4-3. Bang. Nice shot by Brandon Roy. Way to show this play. We're down by four. Slowly but surely, we are cutting my opponent's lead down as we're down by five. We'll start off this second quarter. Got Gus right here trying to attack the paint. Off the inbounds. Hop stepping. Nice move. That's Kevin Porter Jr. Wide open left corner for some odd reason. 4-3. Bang. Nice shot by Kevin Porter. And we're now down by two points. Good thing on James Harden. No way in the world that goes in. Yo, there's... There's nothing I can do with my opponent making stuff like that. Come on, 2K. You cannot reward that. We have Giannis right here trying to play. Giannis attacking paint with a foot of steam going all the way with a nice two-handed dunk. Right now, I kind of am struggling a little bit to score with Gus. And my opponent needs himself another timeout, a second timeout of the game. But this man, Gus, is doing a really good job of facilitating and getting, getting his teammates open because this man has five assists so far in this game. My boy Gus fading to the corner, wide open, 4-3, bang! You can't leave this man Gus open like that. He's a little rocking a little air guitar like that. Good stuff looking like Lance Stevenson on the courts. Give me that steal. He's still right to my face. Up to Gus. All the way. Take it up yourself. I was tempted to shoot a three, but I'll go all the way with that lamp and take the points when they were given to me. You guys don't know how bad I want to stop and pop that three. If he had a rainy center, I most definitely would have did it. But now he doesn't have a rainy center because I could honestly stop and pop from super deep, way out of his range. Oh, good defense. Let's go. Up to Gus on a break. One more to Marbury. Marbury. Back to Gus. I don't know why you're popping that deep. You can't, you don't have a range center like that. Nice pass down a little Bobon with a nice one-handed dunk. And again, guys, we got my opponent's lead cut down to one slash two points. We have not been able to take the lead all game long. Hopefully, right here, guys, it can change with a stop and a bucket. A couple plays later, guys. We're down by seven points in this game. Like I said, we just simply can't get the lead. We're attacking paint again. Nice reverse layup, and that is good by Gus Williams. Right in here, guys, hanging in. We just simply can't take the lead. I don't know what it's gonna take. Gus fades to the right corner. Oh, I probably should have been ready to shoot that one. Gonna go to work. Nice move by Gus. PJ watching is wide open on the left to win. Catch and shoot. 4-3 green. B for my boy PJ. And again, we're down by two points as my opponent himself for another timeout. I really, really want to lead. Hopefully, I can get it in the next minute. There we go. Give me that steal. Stephon Marbury going all the way with the nice one-handed dunk. Here we are. Tied up. I want to stop right now. I want to stop in a score. Come on, 2K. Give me a stop and a score. I deserve it. I've been playing great all third quarter long. Come on. Give me one. Give me one, 2K. That's good D. That's really good D. Rotate back to the corner. I'm there. I'm there. I'm all over that. Defensive three. Yo, what are you guys doing? See, I just simply can't take the lead right now. I just simply cannot take the lead even though I'm right here. I'm playing good defense. I'm playing great basketball offensively. But I simply can't take the lead at all. Come on, 2K. I'm right here. Give me a stop. Give me a stop. I'm there. Give me that. 
Stephon Marbury going all the way and one. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. I got that Marbury to Gus Williams connection going on. We're at the line right here for the free throw, converting the M1. And finally, we have ourselves a lead in this game. Now it's time that we run away with this lead and do our thing. Gus Williams on a break. Hops up in the paint. Nice move. And why not? Why not go with this one? This he been here. Getting a foul. Getting an M1 over two. Big body Miyagi's. Let's go. Now let's convert this free throw right here. My boy Gus at the line. It's up and money as we convert the game one and we're likely going to be up by five heading into the fourth quarter. Gus Williams again down the court going all the way. He's too fast for everybody. Getting that two handed dunk to go over Zion. That right there guys was a questionable and one call. Big boy inside by Boban up to Gus Williams again down the court. Attacking the right baseline trying to hop step through Lamar. Nice hop step and that layup is good off the glass. Very very released. I'll take it. It goes in with that layup right there. My boy Gus has 20 points in this game. Gus right here on the fast break, putting ball to court to B Roy wide open left corner four three green B from my boy, boy Brandon Roy with that assist from Gus he has himself a double double in this game twenty and ten so far. All right guys, right by two points right here with the minute left to go in this fourth quarter right here. This game has been very draining. My opponent's game has been very very good. I gotta give him some credit, but like. Like I said earlier, guys, the game's not over yet, and we have to still clutch up and play smart and play hard. Good pick right there by Boban attacking paint right here with Gus to Boban in the paint. Nice pass down low. That got him in here jumping. Nice moving. Finish inside by Boban. We just need one stop, and it will be the game. No way in the world that goes in. No way. Come on. I got to grab the boards, though. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Thank you. That's my steal, and that's going to be game. GG to this guy in this one. Oh, man. He played a really good one. He's, he's really good at this game, guys. GG's to him. Just gonna dribble the clock out right here and take this W. So, yeah, guys. That right there is going to do it for the gameplay aspect of this video. I cannot remember last time that we got three games in one video since NBA 2K19. I feel like we did it back in NBA 2K19 with Opal D-Rob, I believe. We forced, like, two or, rage, two or three rage cool with Opal D-Rob back in 2K19. Other than that, I can't remember we got three gameplays in one video. So yeah, this man definitely did his thing as we did win all three with Gus Williams being our point guard. In all three games, I believe Gus Williams finished with like around 40-ish points, 17, 18-ish assists around that range. All in all, he had himself a very good performance in this video, in his debut. So now moving on to the card review for this man, Gus. I'm going to give him a solid 9 out of 10. Honestly, this card right here can do everything. There is no flaws in him except for one. And that one is that he, he does not have rain extender. If 2K gave this man rain extender and he was able to shoot like two, three feet behind the three point line, this card right here would be a 10 out of 10 card. But for that reason, for him not having rain extender, the man can only shoot shots closer to the three point line, which is very, which, which just simply sucks. And that's the main reason why he's not a 10, 10 out of 10 card. And pretty much the only reason why he's not a 10 out of 10 type of card, in my opinion. Now, moving on to the last question in this video right here is this card right here worth the grind? And I'm going to say yes. Especially for those of you guys who are who are out there on a budget slash no money spent squad and don't have like a lot of opals or pink diamonds, most definitely this squad this this player right here, guys, is definitely worth the time and the grind. If he had rain extender, he'd be a top ten point guard, no doubt about it. But because he does not have top, he does not have that rain extending badge, I feel like he's a top twenty ish point guard in my team. So that right there now is pretty much going to do it for this video. Big time shout out again to my homie Angel for letting me up on a recording gameplay with his Opal Gus Williams. Without him and his Opal Gus Williams, this video right here would probably not be possible. So much love and big time shout out to the homie Angel. If you guys are new to this channel right here, my channel, make sure you guys go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. Also drop a like, it would be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. I'm not really sure if you guys can tell, but I'm exhausted. I've been recording videos for 10 hours pretty much straight, honestly. But the grind, guys, during this quarantine is insane. And I'm going to give me some nice sleep after I edit this video. That's going to do it, like I said. And it's YPC. And I'm out. Peace.